Hey Orgro, welcome back to Canterario Bosses Survive. I know it's been a minute, but that's because, you know, people in the comments haven't been leaving suggestions. We're kind of running out of weapons at this point. I got a couple ideas we can do here and there, but today we are checking out this right here. Cosmic Hackers Enemy Remote Control. That's a long name. I'll probably shorten that in the title. From the OP Remote Control Weapon. See, that sounds better. That sounds way better to put in the title. But as you can see, a mysterious remote that shoots powerful bolts of energy. Bolts can affect enemies. Even even invincible ones friendly npcs or both right click to change the remote's function so that's probably the coolest thing is that you could actually change the function but let's see the attack mode right here look at that i believe this is called the death mode function and it said we could use it on npcs so you know let's uh let's see it in action here i gotta get rid of these dudes all right so i have been lied to it seems i guess yeah straight up just lied to you hate to see it. We're not even like a minute into the video and I'm already being lied to by the mod. All right, let's see the other modes of the strength mode. Oh, there you go. That one actually affects the uh, NPCs. I don't know what that does. Oh, it gives them a bunch of health. Okay, so it's not even actually killing them. Uh, there's heal mode, which I'm assuming heals. There's pause mode, which this one's supposed to like slow down time or something for a second. I have a feeling that that one was not exactly going to work. Check mode. And this one, you can like check stats. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then death mode, which doesn't kill the NPCs. I've been lied to. But let's get to it. We actually do have some new bosses after the Calamity mod has updated. And, you know, the funniest thing about the Calamity mod is, you know, Calamity fans, they're already pretty much a big joke. We all know that. But, like, there's so many Calamity fans, they're so mad. They're like, all the weapons have been nerfed. For what reason? It's like, bro, it was a it was an overall balance slash nerf patch. Everything that was super strong is now super weak. And that means everything, bosses and weapons included. So it's so funny seeing people, like, complain about that. I keep on getting comments about that like why did they nerf everything this mod sucks it's like bro they nerfed literally everything bosses included but yeah we got the uh the exo mechs here we could test on them supreme cow is gonna be interesting we're gonna see how supreme cow is like i have not seen anything other than she's just an npc now you guys so you guys should have watched the video by now all right eternity mode is on let's see it you die took a little bit but it died king slime let's do the king slime first can't forget him oh what the hell? Mike, you got to get out of here, bro. All right, next up, let us do a daytime Skeletron here. Boom. Got his ass. Uh, I might turn off Eternity Mode after we kill all the vanilla bosses. But for now, I'll leave it on. It was just on earlier, I guess, when I was playing in this world. So, you know, I might as well leave it on now. Queen Bee, what's up? Oh, did I miss? Didn't miss that time. All right, let's whip out. Let's do a uh, Brain of Cthulhu first here. Now, this is going to be interesting. How is this going to work? It's a boss that has, you know, multiple things to kill. I guess I just got to kill them all one by one is what it looks like. No problem, I guess. More effort for me, but still no problem. All right, there you go. Uh, what, the, what the hell? Which one is which? <laughs> I don't know what the hell. What's what? I'm just going to keep firing until something dies. Something has to die eventually. Or not? Hello? <laughs> Alright, Brandon Cthulhu wins against this weapon. I I can't. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not fucking dying. I'd say that's more of a, an Eternity Mode win. Because I think, obviously, the mod would kill everything outside of Eternity Mode. Alright, Eater of Worlds. This is another one that I have no idea how this is going to go. Will it just insta-kill or will it just split segments? It looks like... I don't know. <laughs> Something just, like, exploded into a giant like you know gore set over here pieces of gore so i don't know what the hell happened there but other than that yeah it, it one taps each segment it doesn't kill the boss all at once you know just more work for me all right i believe there's like one or two more pieces left there we go at least we were actually able to kill that one all right let's take on the dark mage here and the dark mage does he look the same in uh eternity mode he kind of looks the same He's not like Betsy. Betsy looked like the Ender Dragon. And I think the Ogre looks exactly the same too. Uh, and then Lepus and Turkor. What's up? Quickly kill them. Ooh, kill them with one shot. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. All right, the Wall of Flesh. Let's let's see the boxes. How the boxes looking like? We got three over there. That's it. This just shows you how many episodes I've done on this world. Not too many. All right, Wall of Flesh. Let's get it. Where are you? Boom. The Crystal Wall of Flesh. Get his ass. <laughs> What in the fuck is that noise? 
Fargo, you better take that shit out of this mod. I never want to hear that noise ever again. You know, I usually always bring up the wiki to make sure I don't forget too many things. And it's weird scrolling down the wiki now and seeing the deer clops on it. A welcomed addition. I really like them. But yeah, let's move on here. We got the mech bosses. Skeletron Prime. What's up, bro? I love how Skeletron Prime looks in the uh, Eternity mode. What is this? going on here? Is this another, like, one health can't kill him thing? I don't know. It's looking like so. Boom. Same thing with the twins and the destroyer. Well, actually, the twins look exactly the same, I think. Dead. That's what they look like. All right. The destroyer looks really cool, though. Reminds me of, like, a OG dog. How OG dog used to look. I don't know where I got him. Do I got him in the face? I might have to hit him in the face. Come on. Where's your face at? Boom. Got him. So you have faith. Have faith. You just got to hit him in the right spots. Except for the Brandy Cthulhu and uh, Skeleton. I don't know about those two. All right, Golem, Plantera, Boom, Sans, Golem, my favorite Golem. All right, what's going on here? What, are, what part of him did I hit? What is, why is he getting like regen and stuff? Why are you not dying, bro? I'm in God mode and I can't use my, my mount. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, I'm just spamming, and he eventually died. It took a little bit more effort, but he eventually died. Let's bring in the plant. What's up, Plantera? Bye-bye, Plantera. And for some reason, I feel like fighting the ogre and Betsy in here. Why not? Ogre, somebody told me that Eternity Ogre should be, like, green-colored, like Shrek. And I agree with them. I feel like that would be a nice little reskin, especially since, like, everything else in Eternity Mode's reskin. Betsy, the Ender Dragon, has to be the Ender Dragon, right? I cannot see another reason why it would be that color. All right, next up, the Empress of Light. Just kidding. Still can't do that yet. Duke Fishron, but pink. Oh, there we go. Wait. Gotta hit it again. Wait. Gotta, gotta hit it one more time. There we go. It's weird always being on the left side of the world because on our old world where we did uh, Cantoria Bosses Survive, we were always on the right. But obviously the right's kind of, you know, it's got the poo poo ocean or whatever the hell you want to call it now. All right, but let's get to it. We got some other bosses, some event bosses to take on. Starting with the Dutchman. Okay, that was very interesting. Didn't need to break all his cannons. You know, I'm not arguing. It was faster for me. Cool, cool. Morning Wood, what's up? Hey, the Morning Wood took some dubs recently in that, uh, you know, the video where we made Terry Bosses fight each other, the second one. That, that dude was taking dubs against every screen. All right, let's bring in Pumpkin here. Got him. Gotta remember, you gotta hit these ones before they run. Wait, we did this motherfucker already. Boom, Sand Tank. Oh, did I miss? There we go. And the Ice Queen got her. Can't forget the Martian Saucer. I'm actually interested to see how this one works. I'm assuming if I hit it, it's poor. Okay, actually, I don't know, no. <laughs> Maybe I gotta hit all pieces. No, uh, it's core might be like immune. I don't know what's going on here. What if I hit it like this? So I don't know, man. Like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I can't do damage with the tome. I, I think it just kind of bugged out. I'm consider that a W against him. All right, let us pop Akram out. What's up, Akram? Don't do the thing where you lag my game. Thank you. What a, what a kind dude. All right, might as well get Dungeon Guardian over with it too. What's up? Oh. He's doing the one health thing. So even if I spam on him a bunch of times, I don't think anything's going to happen. He's putting up a fight, though. He's putting up a fight. I'm going to have to just kill him like that. This motherfucker, on the other hand, I don't know what to do with you, bro. You got to go. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's go say hello to the boys. What's up, boys? How y'all doing today? Gotta kill you, like usual. I know it sucks, but you know. Maybe you shouldn't have got into all the cultist shit, and I probably wouldn't kill you. Boom. Did we get him? Yeah, we got his ass. We tried to do a little extra move there at the end, but we got his ass. Now let us handle all the uh, pillars here. Bam, there's a solar one, and last but not least, a nebula. I hit it, there we go. And now, while we wait, Let's take on some Thorium bosses. You guys know what we're doing at this point. All right, what Thorium boss is dying today? Abyssion. Let's start with uh, this one. I feel like this Abyssion. Oh, I guess not. I was going to say, I feel like he was going to survive, but I guess the hell not. I don't know. We can just we can just take on random Thorium bosses. See which ones survive. See which ones don't. I usually like to take on the ones that have phases, but like these ones are actually dying. I would kill the Dream Eater, but... We'll, we'll wait for it after the post moon lord or after moon lord hey what's up can i shoot at anything or do i actually gotta hit everything i think i actually do gotta hit everything open up that top eye open up open up there we go and there we go 
the little floating eyes that he had after you pop him out of his hand, they really look like the uh, Don't Starve Eye of Terror. Is that what it's called? In Don't Starve? The Eye of Cthulhu? What's it called? The Eye of Cthulhu. All right, Dream Eater. Dead. Okay, let us take on the mutant now. Let's knock him out if possible. That is. Boom. What's up? One hit? Question mark? I feel like this mod is definitely updated recently. I don't remember like as many like effects and stuff. Maybe it's because we're in eternity mode. And I'm supposed to turn eternity mode off. But you know what? We might as well keep it on. This looks fun to dodge. Oh, this looks really fun to dodge too. Is he dying? Like I <laughs> what, you, what is this? I can dodge this one. Look at this. You call that an attack? Look at my dodge. Okay, okay, they You got really fast with it. Imagine killing a boss and you die after he's dead. Like, that shit would piss me off. Okay, let us fight some Calamity bosses now. Let's start with Providence. Where is Providence? Hello. What's up? How you doing, Providence? All right, see you later. All right, let's move on. Let's, uh, let's fight Yarn. Yeah, let's do Yarn next. Boom, what's up, Yarn? Phase two? Oh, he's upside down. Did you see that? Phase two. Phase two eventually. Come on. All right. Dead. Can you die? There we go. All right, and now let us fight dog. Dog, I have to actually be pretty accurate with. I have to hit dog right in the head. Headshot, headshot. I gotta land a headshot. Oh, I landed a headshot. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Leave. All right, you can come back. Yes, you get my permission to come back. Uh, boom. Headshot. Great, you love to see it. You know, dog is usually one of the bosses I always test to make sure a weapon is like fairly worthy. And uh, you know, I had to test shooting him in the head because shooting him in the body did absolutely nothing. All right, next up, we're gonna bring in the boys here, the Dradon boys. And I think honestly, the best way to do it is just to talk to Dradon directly. I'm interested to see how this turns out. I'm interested to see how it works. This is our first time adding these dudes to the fight. I think they're worthy because they have such an interesting fight. Now choose. Let me choose a Thanatos. We'll start with a worm this time. All right, bro. Where you at, Mr. Worm? All right, so this is going to be interesting how this works. Do I actually... Yeah, I'm going to be turning down the volume for this one. It's going to be interesting how this works. Do I have to hit him in the head? Do I have to hit him in the parts that open? So far, it's looking like absolutely nothing is working here. Oh, there you go. I hit him in the head. I think I got to hit him in the head again. Come on. Let me hit you in the head. He's really fast. Oh, I don't know if I can hit him in the head again. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest here. There we go. I got Drayton just like in the bottom right. Where'd he go? Hey, bro, you want to bring in someone else? You bringing in someone else? I think, yeah, I think I bugged it out by killing Thanatos because you're usually not supposed to kill the boss because, you know, they tag team back and forth. Where did he go? Motherfucker ran off. There he is. Ah, I got you. What you going to do? Hey, whoa, Jadon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe I'll summon in the next boss myself. I don't know, man. Let's bring in, uh, let's bring in Ares. Where, where's Ares at? Which one looks like Ares? Ah, I don't know which one to spawn in. This one? What's up? He's dead. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to spawn in anything or not. I think I just have to spawn in everything. All right, let's bring in uh, Apollo and Artemis. Boom, there's Apollo. Got his ass. Oh, did he actually bring him in or did they just... I don't know. And then, boom, bring in Artemis here. I think they both come in together if I bring in one. But there we go. All of those dudes are dead. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm a, I am I got to restart the world because I'm assuming he's going to stay here the whole time. All right. Let me take on uh, Bill Cipher and the Ugandan Knuckles before we take on Supreme Cal. And then I think after that, we should be ready to go to fight Supreme Cal. Because, like, I don't know. I don't know how the fight's going to be, you know? So I want to take on these two beforehand. Did I kill him? What is going on? He's, like, pushing me away. Bro, are you dead or not? I don't know. I don't know if he's dead, guys. Oh, no, there he is. Now he's dead. Just killed me a couple times in God mode. It's all good. All right, Supreme Cow. Let's get it. I have no idea how this new fight works. Let's see what happens. I'm going to just summon her in. Oh, shoot. So she just looks different. I think a lot of people were saying they didn't like how Supreme Cow looks now. I think it's way better. Why would I just want to see like a reskin of the Ayaka 3, right? All right, so I got to break all these. Oh, Sepulchre. Speak about better. Sepulchre looks way better. What's up, bro? 
That boy got that upgrade. That boy got that overhaul to look sexier. I don't know about sexier. He looks scary. All right. Can I one tap you from here? She dead? Oh, she's dead. And look, she turns into a regular NPC after. Very nice treasure coffer. That that's a cool looking treasure chest. I can't even lie. And look at the fit too. Damn, I'm dripped out. All right. Anyways. There you go, Supreme Cow dead. I didn't actually have to fight all the other phases. Kind of sad. I actually did want to see Cataclysm and uh, Catastrophe because they do have way better sprites now. Eidolon Worm. Let's do it. Before Act Death. Uh, which one? This one. Whoa. Calm down now, bro. Oh, I took off his uh, his uh, worm segments. Wow. He got fucked up. <laughs> uh, I know Eidolon Worm is not like a super boss or something like that. Like, it's higher than Supreme Cal now, but not to this remote control. But yeah, let us finish this off with you know who, Act Death. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Act Death, I have a feeling you're dying. Oh. Oh. You know, I think I spoke too soon. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, make sure to leave some suggestions. We're low on suggestions, man. And if I don't have suggestions, I can't continue the series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out the weapon we use today. See y'all next time.